Today, we shall have a look at the backup and restore of SharePoint 2013 version. As you can already see, we are in the central administration page of the backup and restore option. So if you can see, we can do backup at the farm level or even at the site collection or site or a list level. In today's demo, we shall have a look at the higher level backups like the farm, web applications, service applications, content database, as well as a smaller backup like a site or list. And we shall do a restore for a simple list for our demo. Let's perform a simple backup for the farm. Click perform a backup. So this is a tree structure of all the components in the farm. If you see, it has the config, configuration database, the solutions, the info path form services, the customizations, the various services. This is the actual content databases of the web applications list under Microsoft SharePoint Foundation web application and various service applications. Let's go ahead and choose the entire form and click next. If you're doing the backup for the first time, click full. Or if you're doing it for the second time, you want only the certain changes to be backed up, you can choose differential. We will try for backup only configuration settings for our demo. If you see the size, estimated size changes from 4, 4 to a huge size of 11 GB if you're choosing the content. For our demo, let's just choose the configuration and click start backup. Since we have already created a folder for the backup, and please note that that backup folder is better than it is shared. Click start backup. Okay, after the backup is run, go to the folder. If you see a manifest file called spbrtoc.xml file is created, which contains the details of all the backups. So far, we have done just one backup. And this is the folder containing the actual backup. By default, the backup format is .back in SharePoint. Next, we shall try the backup of just the solution. Let's just choose the backup of only the Power Pivot Power Farm solution and click Next. Now we are going to backup the entire content. Click Start Backup. The backup of the solution is done. Now, for our demo purpose, what we shall do is we shall go to the solutions and deliberately remove this solution. Solution is removed. Let's go back to the backup and restore. Now let's try to restore this farm sol solution. Click restore from a backup. And then click this. Let's try to restore this. Click next. We shall try the same operation from a PowerShell script. You use the command restore hyphen sp farm. The directory is c backup sp backup. Then the item we use farm slash solutions backslash power pivot farm solution dot wsp. And we shall overwrite the existing file if it's already there. After running this command, the solution was restored successfully. And here is the power pivot sp farm solution which we saw, which we have restored which was removed before. In order to do a backup of a SP farm using PowerShell, here, if you, here are the few scripts for backing up the SP farm from the PowerShell. To view the tree structure, you use backup SP farm show tree. We shall try running that. So this is a tree of all the components in SharePoint which can be backed up at the farm level. So for example, suppose you want to back up a solution 
for this when you're backing up the command you would use this path farm slash solution slash powered by word farms 14 solution wsp suppose next uh, suppose you want to oh, back up a web application you would use hrweb.contoso.com or if you want to back up a particular content database you can just select this wss content and, and you pass the corresponding parameter suppose you want to back up the shared services all the shared services you would just use shared services slash and if you want to back up a particular shared service you would pass the appropriate appropriate path for that so some of the commands has been listed here for your reference you can we will probably try one or two for this demo so for example backup sp farm you give the directory path using the directory and you, we are doing a full backup if you want only the configuration use the configuration only parameter suppose you want to do backup of a web application you use the parameter hyphen item and the particular url suppose you want to backup a service application you use hyphen item farm slash shared services and the particular name of the shared service for example, for app management, you would use app management service. Suppose you want to do a backup of a particular shared service application. For shared service application, you would use this. For our next, uh, we shall try to do the backup of a simple, uh, let's try a backup of a simple solution using this PowerShell script. You have already done it from the UI level. Let's now again try the backup from this. Backup is complete. Let's try go to the next level of backup that is backing up a site collection. For backing up a site collection from the UI, you go to the central admin, click backup and restore. You click under granular backup, click perform a site collection backup, and you can choose the site collection you want to backup. Let's try a simple site collection uh, from contoso.com. And for and you specify the particular name of the file, not just the directory here. Click start backup. So for the backup of a site from the PowerShell, you use backup. You use the command backup sp site you pass the url in the identity parameter and you specify the path now let's try the backup of the next level that is the sp site sp web suppose you want to do the backup of a web you go to backup export site or list and then you select the particular site you want to be backed up Let's try block two, and then you specify the name, file name. If you have options to export the security and the versions also, if you want, and then click start export. This is a corresponding command to export a particular web. Export hyphen SP web, you pass the para identity, the URL, and then you pass the path. Now next, let's just go to click export a site or list. Choose the site collection. Let's choose, choose the site and then the list. We shall choose the list announcements. Note that the extension is CMP. We shall choose the option to overwrite the existing file and export the full security as well as all the versions. We shall start the export. Now, what after the export backup is done, what we shall do is we shall go and deliberately remove this list.
Kindly note that you can always recover an item from a recycle bin. For our demo, we shall look at how to do the restore of a list from the Shen Central admin. Go to Backup and Restore. Click Export Recover Date. This is the command to import a list. Import SPWeb. After the restore, the announcements list is added along with the contents. We should also have a quick look at the recover data from unattached un content database. Let's assume this content database is not attached to SharePoint form. We shall try to do a backup of the app data list. Shall override and export the full security and start the export. That's it. So we saw how to do backup of a farm, of a web application, of a site collection, of a list, of a content database, as well as service app from central administration as and PowerShell. Let's also see how to do the backup from SQL. Right click. Open up the SQL Studio, right click the content database, click Tasks, and click Backup. And you may choose to do the full or the differential backup. You can even remove and add a new path if needed and click OK. That's it. That completes a quick overview of a SharePoint backup. Thank you.